In this video, we will be studying about the algebraic expression of consumption and savings function. Let's first understand the algebraic expression of consumption function. How we write the consumption function in algebraic form. C, that is your consumption, is equal to C dash plus B into Y. Now where your C is your consumption your C dash is your minimum level of consumption that you make the constant consumption even when your income is zero. B is your marginal propensity to consume and Y is your income. The marginal propensity to consume was change in C by change in Y that is change in consumption over change in income. So let's see this algebraic function graphically. This is your income. This is your consumption. Let us see. See, this is your minimum level of consumption that you do even when your income is zero. So your consumption goes like this. This is your income. It starts from zero and goes on increasing. So your income, this is your C. This is your C dash. So your consumption function is C is equal to C dash plus B this is your consumption function in algebraic form. Let's suppose example you are given your C dash is 200 your marginal propensity to consume is 0 0.5 and your income is 1000. So you can find out your consumption. Consumption will be equal to C dash plus B Y which means 200 was 0 0.5 into 1000 which is 200 plus 500 which is rupees 700 crores this is your consumption in this way you can find out consumption when these three of them are given to you now we will understand the savings function so your saving function is equal to your minus is plus small s into y. Your s is your savings. Your minus s is your constant saving. When income is zero, you have a negative saving. So this is the constant saving. Small s is your marginal propensity to save and y is your income see your mi minus s is also c s negative form in negative form because if you are given c constant c that is minimum level of consumption 200 you know that your income is equal to consumption plus savings. Your income is zero. You are given consumption of constant level that is 200. And you do not know. You have to calculate the saving. So minus 200 will be your savings. So it is your savings. The minus s is a negative form of C dash. That is constant C or minimum level of consumption. Your marginal propensity to, to save is change in S divided by change in Y. In this way we can draw graph. 
savings, your, your income, your Y. Now your savings are negative at the initial level when your income is zero. This is the break even point. This is your saving. This is your S bar. So your saving function is saving is equal to minus S plus S into Y. So this is your saving function. Let's take an example of the saving function in algebraic form. Find S means find saving when your consumption, minimum consumption is 200. Your marginal propensity to save is 0 0.4 and your income is 1000. See what is your saving function? Minimum saving plus small s into my y which is your marginal propensity to save. Now small s is a, this s bar is a negative form of uh, consumption that is constant consumption I told you because income is equal to consumption plus saving and income is zero and when your consumption is constant that is 200 so your saving is minus 200 so this will be your minus 200 plus your marginal propensity to save is 0 0.4 and your income is 1000 so we get minus 200 plus 400 which is equal to 200 your savings. So in this way you can find out your savings from by using the algebraic form of savings function. I hope you all like our video. Please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.